In this video, we're going to show you how to enable your clerk phone number for calling inside of Microsoft Teams. On the back end, clerk leverages a number of different phone carriers via the new Operator Connect program for Microsoft Teams, for example, Bandwidth and Telnex. So the first thing is to make sure that you enable Operator Connect in your Microsoft Teams admin panel. So you navigate to Voice, Operator Connect, if you don't have this enabled yet, navigate to all operators, search for the provided carrier. So in this case, uh, for example, bandwidth, you select your regions, for, for example, Canada, United States, your company size. And this step is very important. Uh, make sure for the full name, you put clerk and for the email, you put team at clerk.chat. And what this does is it associates the carrier to your clerk account. The next step is to navigate back to the phone numbers and you should now see the phone numbers listed in your team's tenant. Sometimes it takes Microsoft a few minutes to sync the numbers over. So if you're not seeing the numbers, just wait a few minutes and they should appear in your account. And the last step, as usual, is just to associate the phone number with your user. So the way to do that is you navigate to the users, select your user, click on general information edit. And what you will see here is operator connect. So select that. And you should see the phone number and you click on the phone number select your emergency location and click apply. If you're not seeing the operator connect button here is because you don't have the proper license assigned to the user. To check that, you navigate to your admin panel for Microsoft, navigate to the user and click on licenses. So to enable the calling functionality, you need to make sure that you have Microsoft Teams phone standard license applied to the user. If you have Microsoft Teams calling plan or uh, Microsoft Teams business voice license, make sure to unselect those and keep only the Teams phone standard license for the calling associated with the user and click save. It takes about five to 10 minutes for Microsoft to update the settings here. You should now see the operator connect so now the phone number is fully assigned to the user. So now you can go back to Microsoft Teams client. So if you're not seeing the phone number appear, just log out and log back in into the app. So now after we log back in, you can see the phone number associated for calling. And if you go back to the clerk app, the same phone number is associated for SMS. And that's it.